Good morning. It's Tuesday morning. I'm Pastor Sharon Taylor. Thanks so much for being with me today. This is Blessings on the Beach. We come to you Tuesdays and Thursdays on our YouTube channel. Glad that you are with us. We are from St. Peter Lutheran Church in Fort Myers Beach, Florida. I'm using today some reflection from Joyce Rupp, and the book is called Prayer Seeds. You who have been with me for a while know that uh, Joyce is one of the go-tos for me, the people that I think kind of speaks to my soul and my heart, and I hope that throughout our time together that she has some words that will be meaningful to you as well. Was just really kind of finding myself a little dry of inspiration in the last couple of days. And uh, when I find that, I'm so thankful for other authors and writers who are able to point us to Christ. I think that's the importance of being a part of a faith community, is that we don't go it alone. And that there are others, when we're feeling lean, there are others that can um, remind us of God's presence and the joy of God's presence. And and then when you're feeling lean, hopefully I'm able to point you to Christ. And so that's the blessing of being in a community of faith. So today we're going to use a short devotion called The Peace of the Life Giver Be With You. The text is from Psalm 84. Blessed are they who put their strength in you. They do not give way to fear or doubt. They are quickened by divine light and power. And since it's only one verse, I want that to really sink in with us. So I'm going to read it one more time and just let that flow over you. Blessed are they who put their strength in you. They do not give way to fear or doubt. They are quickened by divine light and power. So we're just going to take a moment to breathe in and to kind of just settle ourselves and center ourselves in the beginning of this day. We're going to pay attention to our breath. A lot of times we breathe and don't think about it. We also breathe very shallowly sometimes. So let's think about our breath and be intentional about that for a few minutes. And so we're going to breathe in through our nose all the way to the top of the inhalation as far as you can. And then we're gonna exhale through our mouth. It's okay to put some sound behind that to exhale out, especially in the morning. We're breathing in this new day through our nostrils. We're breathing out all the staleness from overnight. We're breathing in new life and light, the presence of God. Feeling that energy and that oxygen going to all the parts of our body. We're exhaling out all that no longer serves us. Everything that might be trapped in us that we want to get rid of and exhale on this new day. Thinking about as we're breathing in this new energy and this new life. Thinking about it, I talked about it on Sunday as a mini resurrection that every day we have this new opportunity for a new beginning and new life and so we breathe in that new energy that God gives us and we breathe out we can just let our breath go back to normal but we could still concentrate on our breath as I read to us this blessing When inner turmoil and conflict threaten my peace of mind and heart, I rest in the peace giver's presence. When my life is overly full and I wonder how I will complete what is required, I rest in the peace giver's presence. When I enter into the pain and suffering of the world's lack of peace, I rest in the peace giver's presence. When I hurt for friends, relatives, and others who are distressed, I rest in the peace giver's presence. 
Wed fear of the future rises up and the way ahead is uncertain and unsettled, I rest in the peacekeeper's presence. When my life appears empty and lonely, I rest in the peacegiver's presence. When I live with concern and apprehension over unsolved issues, I rest in the peacegiver's presence. When I feel a great distance from the one who is the fullness of peace, I rest in the peacegiver's presence. We breathe in calmness. We breathe out anxiety and lack of peace. We breathe in the peacegiver's presence. We breathe out that peace to all the world. Let us pray. Gracious peacemaker, thank you for the life you have given me. I desire to be filled with your serenity. Clothe me in your calm presence. Be the stronghold of my heart. Help me to accept the irreversible and to change what is possible. May your peace grow ever stronger in me. Amen. I pray that your day is blessed, blessed in the sense of feeling the presence of God, regardless of what your day looks like and the things that come at you today. That inner peace and that inner presence of God, may that be clear to you today and be your stronghold. May Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit bless you now and forever. Amen. I hope you'll join us on Thursday. See you then.